When you think of a farm, do you picture goats? Maybe chickens. What about Chicago's West Side? Glen Art Farm resides in the backyard of an Austin neighborhood home. While most farms are measured in square acres, Glen Art is just over 9,000 square feet. That's less than a quarter of an acre. So it's high management of animals, not low. If you had four acres even, we could be a lot more low in our management. She is obnoxious. She was an only child. Carolyn Iotter starts each day by tending to her goats. Normally, when you're in the city, it's the same old cement and cars and noise, and all of a sudden, here's a pasture with goats in it. And that's a surprise. Alongside her husband, David, Carolyn has been running Glenart Farm for about 11 years. Her backyard is currently home to seven goats and a flock of chickens. So basically our work is, consists of milk, mu move, and muck. Those are the three basics. Milk, move, and muck. First is milk. While 80% of the farm's income comes from visitors playing with the animals, nearly 20% comes from milk sales. For most of the year, the goats are milked seven days a week. Ready? Yeah. Okay, Second is move. All right, I'm going to stand here and prevent them from going to the peach trees. Liani decided to stomp on one of them yesterday, so grand. The goats have multiple pens in the backyard, as well as an indoor enclosure in what used to be a garage. Beyond that, Carolyn established three off-site pastures around the west side. The goats are moved in between the spaces throughout the day. We're going to sweep all the corners, make sure the corners don't have any pee. Third is muck. Every day, the pens are swept and given fresh hay and cardboard. With such small enclosures, not cleaning is not an option. But as the leaves begin to fall from the trees, farm operations begin to change. Visitors who pay to play with the goats stop coming by. In fact, 90% of the farm's income is made between March and November. The goats are bored, but if there's a really good day, then we can go out to the field, but our criteria is 40 degrees, no wind, lots of sunshine. And maybe we'll have two or three of those days in the winter, maybe. And they don't last long. Milking also has to be altered. As they prepare to have babies in the spring, the six milking goats are producing less and less milk every day. It's really late in the season right now, so right now it's much less. Amy Novak Wobbly is one of the live-in volunteers taking over farm operations while the Iotas are on vacation. While Carolyn is gone, the goats will go from being milked once a day to two or three times a week until they dry out for the winter. They had plants and stuff growing up. But before Carolyn leaves, she has a project. Today our particular project will be leaves. Carolyn's asked her neighbors to set aside the leaves they rake from their lawns. Along with farmhands Elijah and Jenny, she's on her way to collect and spread those leaves on one of the off-site pastures. It's kind of nice because somebody else does the work and all I have to do is spread them. This pasture is part of a community garden just a few blocks away from the farm. After the leaves are spread, they'll help create soil systems that allow plants to grow alongside the enclosure for the goats to eat. The goats will hop into the van and make a return to the community garden soon, weather permitting. From the pasture to the backyard, Carolyn's goats are making an impact on Chicago's west side. And the goats themselves change the reality of kids and families. I have kids now who are 23, 24, and they were nine and 10 when we started. And they said, I remember you, I was here. I remember when you I remember when they got out. I remember, you know, and it's it's like all of a sudden a different environment for them than they would have normally. One of the founding principles of Glenart is to restore community. As much as the urban farm benefits from the neighborhood, 
They are making sure that the neighborhood benefits from the farm. Uh, the other day I was just feeding the chickens and this guy walked by and was like, that's the dopest shit ever. And it's like, <laughs> I have little conversations like that with people. <laughs> Whether it's fresh milk being sold to community members or a local kid getting the chance to meet their first goat, Carolyn says the west side comes first. So why do we do this, honey? Because we love goat! Mwah. We also <laughs> like goats. We do like goats. We do like goats. Reporting in Austin, Chicago, Madison Smith for The Daily Northwestern.